Hello YouTube. We're making blackberry jam. We grew these blackberries in our backyard and just used a minimal amount of water to reduce them down and extract the juice out of them. You'll need six cups of blackberry juice. We're going to be using the Pomona's pectin today and we're also going to be using Tatler reusable lids to can our jelly. To the six cups of juice, you're going to add a fourth of a cup of lemon juice, four teaspoons of the Pomona's calcium water. Follow your directions on your Pomona's packet on how to mix up and store your calcium water. And one teaspoon of butter. The butter just keeps the jelly from foaming. You add this to a four to six quart stock pot and bring it to a bowl. And to that bowl, you're going to add a mixture of your two cups of sugar and four teaspoons of Pomona's pectin powder that you're going to stir up inside the sugar. That way when it's added to the boiling mixture, it'll evenly incorporate the pectin and sugar in with the juice as you're stirring it in. Once you've added your sugar, you're going to bring it back to a boil the second time and boil it for two minutes. Then you're ready to label your jelly into your jars that have been sterilized your lids that have been heated. When you add your rings on, you're going to add them, you're going to tighten them up a little bit more than you normally would if you were using a pressure canner. With you submerging these jars under an inch of water, if there is a leak around the seal, it could cause the water to come in the jar. So I tighten them down just a little bit harder than I normally would, what we call the finger tight. Once you got them in the water bath canner you're going to water bath can them for 10 minutes at a rolling boil once they water bath can for 10 minutes remove them onto a double cloth on your counter and then cover them with another cloth that way there's no drastic temperature change that could cause these jars to bust once your jars have cooled down be sure to label your contents of your jar, label that it's reduced sugar, that you've used Pomona's pectin, that way you can keep up with how your everything you can and how it's made. Hope you enjoy this video. Please give us a thumbs up for the video and join our channel. If you have any questions, we'll be glad to help you where we can. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.